you walk by, I hit you with sexy eyes. You look through me as if I wasn't right. Oh no, you didn't. You didn't just walk on through. It's time. Welcome to the shop. I the dragon is in my outlook shop. God, my hair is a mess. You can tell I've been outside. <laughs> yeah, we've got a little windstorm going here. And it's blowing everything away. But uh, anyway, it is on Wednesday. And when I left you after uh, at last week's vlog, after I finished the pillars, I started work on some new fencing for my haunt. This is a piece of the old fencing, uh, which I'll get to in just a sec. But what I was working on was this here. The finials. I had 500 of them that I needed to put pegs into so I can mount them to the fencing. And as you can see, all 500 are now done. Been a busy week. It was actually took me about four hours, four to five hours to do those. And I just kept working, plugging away at a couple hours a day or an hour a day as I had time. Uh, but anyway, that end of the project is now officially finished. So, what we're getting ready to do now is I brought my old panels that I've used the last couple of years into the shop. I've got two long ones which we use for regular fencing in front of the pirate area and I got two short panels which we used as gates for the entrance and exit for when we were closed. You know, I could close them or open them or what have you. Uh, what, I need, what I'm going to do now is I got to get these old panels taken apart. The wood rails are trash. I'm not going to reuse them. Uh, spacing on them is a little bit different than what I'm go going with uh, for the new panel, so I basically cannot use them. But the piping, on the other hand, I can use. Now, it will save me a little bit of money uh, reusing the pipe. So, uh, right now, I'm just going to grab the drill and just start disassembling these. And that's basically what I'm working on now. Uh, I got about an hour, hour and a half left. This should take probably about a half hour to take, take apart. So, but uh, anyway, I just got to think I hadn't shot anything for this week's vlog, so I figured I'd grab the camera and do get you something. So. Okay, hello, hello, we are back, and I started it out with okay again. Oh, well, uh, doing a little test fitting here. Uh, one, I was trying to get my size, my height of my pipes the way I wanted it. Uh, originally, where I originally had it was four foot and then a five foot pipe and then I tried it with a four foot six and a five foot pipe and the wife and I got to talking and the five foot height on the pipe was just a bit too tall okay and then having the shorter ones being four six just seemed a little too tall so we ended up mixing it up I ended up what I'm going to end up doing is it's going to be four foot tall pipe to a four six to a four two and it'll just zigzag like that down the line and yeah it's not attached i just got sitting in there loosely for right now now the uh and as you can tell you see the right white strips on the pipe that's the old piping out of the fencing i just took apart uh and that's a piece of scrap now the only other thing i'm thinking about is the spacing between the pipes in between here i originally thought of doing it this side that's a four foot on center spacing in other words to the center of each pipe it's four inches and using that spacing with 500 finials I can get 21 panels now the other one is I'm thinking about going six inches in between that's the six inch spacing and you can see the difference so it's basically six inch on center in here it's six inches from the middle of the pipe to the middle of the pipe now I was thinking also about maybe doing it that way and the benefit to doing it that way if I do a six inch spacing I can actually get more panels out of what I've got how many more I don't know I didn't do the math I might be able to get up to 25 to 30 panels out of it I really don't need 30 panels but I am going to need a bunch of two foot wide three foot wide and five foot wide panels for different areas in my haunt so I'm debating on whether to go the four inch, which is the first one I showed you, or the six inch. Now the only 
the differences, other differences between the two is if I go with the four inch spacing on the pipe. Okay, I'm only going to be able to get 21 8 foot panels out of it. That's it. Okay, but it will take the decoration I'm going to be doing on there, and I'm not going to say anything about what decoration I'm doing until I get to doing that. But with the decoration I'm going to do, it's going to take less material with a 4 inch gap. Now, if I go with a 6 inch gap, I'll end up using more material to make my detail detailing on here but I'll end up with more panels you know so it's kind of a give or take I either get more panels with way more material cost or I get less panels with less material cost uh, which yeah break my arm trying to turn the camera on which results into money <laughs> you know which way do I want to go so I'm going to debate on it for a little while, I think. I think for right now, before I figure out my spacing and everything, I think I'm just going to sit down and get some pipe cut. <laughs> get all my piping cut so it's done and over with. So, Good day, gentle people. Welcome to Thursday. Uh, spent last night uh, going through and figuring out how many of each size on the piping I'm going to need. Uh, we decided to go with four foot and four foot six inch length pipe. And I sat down, figured out all the panels I needed, you know, figured out, you know, how many finials I had, so how many panels could I make, you know, to utilize the 500 finials. And came up with, I needed 235 four foot long pieces and I needed 212 four foot six inch pieces more four foot than four foot six and I'm just now getting in the process of cutting the pipe and I figured I'd show you how I'm going about doing that I'm going through and if you remember in the last segment I took my old fencing apart and I'm going to reuse the piping from that it'll save me a little bit of money and a couple things one thing I'm going to have to do is where the uh, screws went through you know, for the old fence, I'm going to have to sand those down just a bit, which is no big deal. But they were various lengths. They're not at the length I needed. So what I ended up doing, as you notice, I got my saw there and I got the pipe laid up on it over here and I've got to stop. Uh, I ended up screwing a piece of scrap lumber onto my workbench over here and I measured from this point up to my saw blade and it's set for four feet six inches right now so all I have to do now is just grab the pipe and it's gonna let me do five pieces at a time but uh, put my pipe up here put the butt in against the guard chop it you know and there's my pieces you know so it's just kind of a quick and easy just kind of whip them through and cut them so I'm kind of doing that now. I'm doing the four foot six inch long pieces now and then we'll be moving over to do the four foot pieces. And dog's being let out and the wife's checking on me and smirking because I'm talking to nobody. <laughs> she hates being on camera. Hey, a little bit later in the day on Thursday. Uh, been cutting the pipe. I've got it done. As you can see there, those there are four foot six inches long and those there are four foot tall <laughs> uh exact numbers on each uh sorry about that i had to sneeze now uh, there's 236 of the four foot six inch and uh 252 on the four foot to do the panels i need to do sorry i didn't want to blow up the mic with me sneezing now the piping when i bought it was 10 foot long as a result if you look underneath the table there, you'll see all those odds and ends on the piping. Uh, some of it's, you know, six about 10 inches long, others just under two foot. I am not throwing those away. I was sitting here cutting pipe, and I got to thinking about the leftovers, and I have an idea for another project, actually, which will tie in with the fencing. And I'll go into that, you know, when I'm done with this project, so... No heads up. You're going to have to wait on that. Now, my next 
step I'm going to be working on is out here. I'm going to get started on it today. I will not finish it today. And that's this here. You know, I got that, all that wood sitting there. Those are going to be the rails for all the piping. I'll hold the piping up and down. I got to get those into the shop. I've got several different lengths. What was it? Two foot, three foot, four foot, five foot, six foot, and eight foot long fence panels I'm going to be doing. So I need to get those cut down into their lengths. Then I need to go through and get the holes drilled in them. What have you. So I'm going to get that in here. I'm going to start doing that now. Uh, you know, get it done and uh, not done and over with, but at least get it started. Uh, today's going to be a short day out here in the workshop. Being Thursday, we have Diablo 85's podcast on YouTube tonight, uh, which is on his channel if you're not aware, uh, aware of it. Uh, Haunter, I was going to say Haunt Talk Mayhem. And it's not Haunt Talk Mayhem. That's a different show. Diablo, I'm sorry. Haunter's Hangout. That's it. Haunter's Hangout. I almost forgot there. But uh, anyway, I've been invited to be on the show tonight. So I'm going to be quitting out here a little bit early. i got to get the computer fired up and get logged in and get ready for the show. Uh, only drawback to it is unbeknownst to me until Monday. Uh, wife made a doctor's appointment for my daughter at 5.45 my time. Uh, Diablo show starts at 5. <laughs> and I didn't realize it until Monday. Or I wouldn't have agreed to be on the show tonight. So, uh, going to be on the show, but it's only going to be for about the first half hour uh, of it. So, uh, looking forward to it, excited about it. I've been wanting to hang out with uh, Diablo on the show and stuff. I've been enjoying it. He does great work. And even though he uh, denies it, he's one hell of a good host. So, especially when he's had a couple of tequilas in him. <laughs> but he, he's a really good host, and it's like probably one of the best programs out there on YouTube. You know, if you like haunt stuff, you get to meet a lot of different haunters and what have you. So. But uh, anyway, I'll be calling it quits out here in the shop a little early because of that. But uh, I just wanted to kind of give you an update and show you all the piping I've been cutting. <laughs> hey, welcome to Friday. <laughs> I had to think that I can't uh, get mixed up Thursday or Friday. My days are getting mixed up this week. Uh, before I get started on things out here in the shop, I wanted to take a moment. Thank J Wall and Diablo for the show last night. I do apologize for having to bail so soon on the uh, show, but uh, had a blast. Uh, if you haven't uh, been over at, uh, on Thursday nights to Diablo 85's channel, he has a, a podcast he does called The Haunters Hangout. And I, he was gracious enough to let me come on and get roasted I guess you could say it felt like a roast I was uh, on some pain medications and stuff last night and I just kept phasing things out but uh, I had a ball on the show Diablo and J Wall. I you know just really wanted to say thank you uh, for having me on it was a lot of fun so uh, anyway out here in the shop I showed you yesterday I got my four foot all my four foot pipes cut I got all my four foot six pipes cut for the fence project uh, with what time I had I got my rail pieces all cut you know these are spots to go horizontally I need to uh, drill holes in them to it so the pipes will fit on them and that's gonna be the project for today but yesterday I got my two foot pieces cut I got my three foot I've got four foot I've got some five foots and I got a couple of six foots and then I'm making some eight foot long uh, most of it's gonna be eight foot long panels and they're still sitting out here on the driveway I haven't gotten to them yet those need to be cleaned up they have tags and staples in the end yet and I'll do those a little bit later but for right now I'm gonna go through what I've got here and then use my drill press over there to bore the holes into it and before I can start boring the holes I've got to make a template 
up for the drill press, which will make it easier for drilling. So I'm going to get that. I'll show you the uh, template that I use here in a second. Uh, I should say also uh, if you go over to Goth Glooms Spook House, Goth Gloom Spook Houses channel, they made up some fencing last year and they have a jig that they used as well. So uh, you know it makes it really easy for marking them and for uh, drilling them. 